Soto, and it is an honor on behalf of the volunteers and supporters here today to welcome Michelle Obama to Las Vegas! <laughs> happening in communities across this country for a long time. Jobs drying up and disappearing, and what happens to communities where folks can't work? They can't do what my father did. Even when they're ready and willing to take on one, two, three jobs to make ends meet, if the work's not there, something happens to the soul of the people in those communities when a man can't take care of his family, when, when a woman can't put food on the table and earn enough to cover child care, when uh, crime is rising because nobody's got work, when schools are crumbling, because the resources are drying up when folks are spending hours in the emergency room because there is no decent health care. We know what it feels like in those communities. Barack certainly does because that's what he worked after college. That's the kind of experience we need in a president to lead us yeah. into the next yeah. decade. That's the kind of leader Barack Obama can be and you can see it in his policy. That is, therein lies the difference between Barack and his opponent. His choices come out of his experiences, his decisions. That's why his economic plan is grounded on the middle class. That's why he knows in these economic times, you've got to give tax breaks to folks who are struggling today. That's why Barack's going to ensure that 95% of working class, middle class families see a tax break. Yeah! Barack understands that jobs isn't just about work, it's about life. It's about soul. So he's going to stop rewarding companies that are shipping jobs overseas and start creating incentives for job companies that are building jobs right here in Nevada, right here in Las Vegas. That's why Barack's health care plan ensures that all Americans get covered, not just some, not just the lucky ones. Barack knows that if you've got a good insurance plan, wonderful, keep it. But what about those who don't? We have to have a system that provides quality preventative care to all Americans, and that's the kind of health care plan Barack is going to fight for when he gets to the White House. That is the difference between Barack and his opponent. That's why Barack's approach to education is one that is comprehensive. Barack knows that you have to invest billions in our education system today. And that means investing in early childhood education. That means investing in recruiting a cadre of new teachers and paying them and giving them the responsibility in the classroom. That means that once you educate these young people and you show them the sky's the limit, that you can't hold them back. You have to make sure they can go to college, they can get jobs, they can pursue their dreams, whether their families can afford it or not. That's the kind of president that Barack Obama will be. That's the choice you have to make. And of course, there's the war in Iraq, where Barack is the only candidate in this race who understands 